You're watching the Nubia Play 5G disassembly. First, go ahead and remove the SIM tray. Next, go ahead and heat the back plate up using a hair dryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then use a plastic pry tool to pry off the back plate. The back plate itself is glass. Let's go ahead and peel off that graphite film. There are 18 Phillips screws which need to be removed so we can lift up and remove the top and bottom cover. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the covers. Here's your top cover. You have plastic on the outside border of it, which has antenna lines running through it. The center, however, is metal or aluminum. Here's the other side. Now we're going to disconnect the battery cable located over here. As you can see on this one, there's only one battery cable connector compared to the Red Magic 5G, which we did a video on earlier. However, on that one, one connector is located somewhere around here, while the other one is located over here in the corner. This spot over here, there is some solder points over here, but no connector on there. Once the battery is disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. We've got three wire cables we need to disconnect as well. There's protective tape covering the connector for the front-facing camera. Go ahead and peel that off. Now we can disconnect and remove the front-facing camera. Here's a better look at the front-facing camera. We have one more protective tape over the connector for one of the main cameras. Remove that as well. Now go ahead and disconnect the camera cables. There's one more wire cable over here in the corner. Pop that off. Now there's one Phillips screw over here, which needs to be removed so we can lift up and remove the main board. Once that Phillips screw is removed, we can lift up and remove this main board. Here's a better look at your main board. Here's the other side. You have copper tape covering the shields. And on top of the copper tape over here, which is over the processor, you have some thermal paste. Peeling up the copper tape reveals the processor underneath, and there's also a thermal pad in between. Now on the front side of the board, when you remove the shield on this side, you can see there's a lot of thermal paste on the chips and resistors on this side. The camera in the center seems to come off easily. However, the two other cameras seem to be glued down, and they don't come off as easily. There's a yellow tape over here we're going to peel off. Now we can lift this cable up and underneath it there's one more Phillips screw that needs to be removed. Once that screw is removed we can lift up and remove this cover. Let's disconnect and remove this cable right here which connects the bottom board from the top main board. We have two more wire cables. Now let's disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. And then there's one more Phillips screw over here which needs to be removed. Now we can lift up and remove this board. Here's a better look at that. Give it a SIM reader on the other side. At this point we can lift up and remove the charger port. It has a rubber gasket around it. Now we can remove the speaker assembly. But be careful because the cable for the fingerprint reader is run in between the slit over here and the speaker assembly. So you don't want to tear that cable. So here's your speaker assembly right here. Now as far as this large 5100 milliamp hour battery goes, there's no easy pull tabs for it. So you're just going to have to gently heat it up and pry it off the old fashioned way.
So here's your battery. Now this battery wasn't that difficult to pry off. So at this point you're left with the mid frame. You got your screen that's attached to the mid frame. The cable for your screen is right here. It's run through the slit over here. So if you ever have to replace your screen, just heat up the front of the phone as well. Pry the screen off after you disassemble the phone. Get your new screen, reapply it to the front and make sure you run your cable back through the slit and just reverse the whole process. You have your vibrator motor over here on the bottom corner. Your fingerprint reader is located over here and it's held on with some adhesive so you can pry it off if need be. You have an antenna over here which I believe is the 5G antenna. The flex cable for your power button volume key is located over here. And this long cable underneath over here which has the contacts over here which touch your main board is the flex cable for your touch keys on the corners. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Now once all your screws are back in place and your graphite film is back over, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Power on the phone. And you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.